So on May 8th, 2010, here in Reno, they have an event called the Reno River Festival. It used to have a two and a half mile run with an obstacle course in the middle of it called a, the Run Amuck. And I went to go into the mud pit and I ended up breaking my neck, leaving me a C5 incomplete quadriplegic. I'm a very active person and I didn't want to sit still. So being very active in the gym and playing a lot of wheelchair rugby and doing a bunch of other sporting activities ended up weakening the shoulder and then the wheelchair rugby is what officially ended up having me tear the rotator cuff and the labrum and the bicep tendon in the shoulder and took me back to the very beginning of my injury where I was extremely limited in my mobility. The negative feelings, especially when I'd already been through it, worked so hard to get it back and then lost it again. <laughs> so defeating. Just, I know how hard I worked to get it all the first time. I didn't know if I could do it and go through it a second time. Here in Reno, all the surgeons wanted to do surgery. They wanted to go in and the main thing they wanted to do was just cut my bicep tendon and let it float in my arm. Well, being a C5 quadriplegic, the main things that I have is shoulders and biceps. So to me, it didn't make sense cutting the tendon that kind of connected the two and was my strength of my arm. There was no way I was gonna just do surgery and just completely limit myself because it definitely would have had me in a power chair and needing a lot more assistance from other people the rest of my life. Believe it or not, a friend of mine from Elko, Nevada, where I grew up, had had the stem cell treatment done on their MCL. And so they told me about going to Salt Lake and Dr. Khan and the Regenex. We evaluated him, got an MRI on his shoulder, and noticed that he had a labral tear and some rotator cuff irritation that you know seemed very amenable and we, we, we were very enthused about being able to help him. And so the stem cells I was definitely gonna try first because the surgery could always happen later. There. Yes. Before the shoulder injury to where I am now, I am more than 100% recovered. Believe it or not, I'm actually stronger now than before from a functional and a strength standpoint. And so I'm doing more now than I even was before on my shoulder. So this is where having my strong shoulders and my body healthy really comes in handy. Because here again, here's the transfer, all shoulders, get into bed. The smile that it just puts back on my face to be able to do all these activities on my own. Don't need any other help at this point, just myself. <laughs>